I'm not even... <laughs> Let's not get that way. Welcome to a special Monday night edition of the Moment of Truth. This episode was so controversial, it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had my vote, it would Listen, not be. Listen, you sink a little just so you got no vote, no beak in your hip, living in a time to get questions. your dick licked. This room, why me guts to base some brace room, when it's a nightmare, this behind bars testing the suspension in our new car. And listening to the answers that were given. Yeah, this is good but in the I, end, it was decided that this I'm episode enjoying should this, this is good gun. I will tell you, however, that the truth is often not pretty. So here it is. This is. Things about you. Do you believe you will answer something like that and embarrass to work as a veterinary assistant? Yes. Stranger, just for laughing. Everything and anything. I'm, I'm a for anything. Question two. Wait, all you're gonna I do? Lying even to one time. One lose everything in the game is over. Got it. Lauren, you're not only here the telling the truth in front of all of America, you brought family and friends to support you as well. Let's meet him right now. Who's here? I'm Frank, Lauren's husband. Hello, Frank. Hello. I'm Jay, uh, Lauren's I'm father. I'm Kim, Lauren's mother. Hi, I'm Monica, Lauren's sister. Now I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. Welcome to all of you. I'm glad to have you here. You know that these questions range from sometimes the silly to the very personal. Are you ready for this? Ready. Lauren, ready. I okay, know. I hope that you are. Lauren, are you ready? I'm ready. I am too. Let's begin. Okay, Lauren, we start with level one, and it has six questions. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully. You win $10,000, and that's a good start, isn't it? Got it. Yes. Remember, if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them if you want tonight. Okay? What do you do for a living? I am an assistant manager at a salon. Question one. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when in fact you, should you did? Of course. Well. Come on. No, I have never. That answer is true. Wow. Wait, why not? So far, so good. Guys, it might be, it might be, if you said something nice, it's about, it's about empowering them, dude. If, if the person likes the, what they, they like what they have, and they're like, oh, dude, man, this is kind of dank, man. I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. Why would you first of all say, nope, that's ugly. That's ugly shit. That's one ugly. full answer. Look one, at you. Five more, looking ass. Like, what do you that? like to do for fun, Lauren? I'm pretty much, I don't know. I don't know everything and anything. I'm, I'm for anything. Question two. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? <laughs> Frank, you think she's ever flashed a stranger? You know her. I've flashed strangers, so I'm sure she's flashed strangers. So I think, uh, yeah, I think she That has. wouldn't surprise you, huh? Not at all. No. Well, let's go to you. It's your moment of truth. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? I'm going to have to say... Chat? Yeah. Chat. Yo, Mr. I have. <laughs> How does a man flash it? That answer is true. <laughs> you show caca? You show that's you show caca? <laughs> Go to jail for that. Two truthful. Four more to ten thousand uh, dollars. I understand you used to work as a veterinary assistant. Yes. You like animals? Love animals. I guess that would be important there, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Question three. Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? Guess. Well, I would have to say I'd rather give food to a dog rather than a homeless person. So your answer would be? Just because yes. it's... Yes. That's that's that smart. answer is true. So that's three truths. Well, three more, $10,000. And one of the things I find so interesting about this program is that you'll answer something like that, and invariably the audience will applaud. That's right. Don't give food to homeless. Give it to the dog. They just look at you with the cute puppy faces, they and then you have somebody who's got a really nasty, dirty face. It's like, hmm. <laughs> Somehow I don't feel better now that you've cleared it up there, Lauren. <laughs> Got your brother and your sister here. 
Again, what, it's it's not about the person being ugly. It's about the dog being cute. She didn't have she didn't have to go both sides. There's no no reason for that. Here, are you too close to Lauren? <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lauren, you would say you're close to your brother and sister. Not as close as I would like us to be, but we're close. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Question four: Have you ever derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? Yes. These are too easy at the beginning. Yeah, how close you guys really are. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, yes, I have. <laughs> I have. That answer is true. Guys, that's four crucial answers. Two more, ten thousand dollars. Chat. When I was a kid, me and me and my brother we had, we had to share the Xbox. And sometimes I would fake a scene where, where he was spinning me up, so he would get you. So my parents would get him off the Xbox and I would play on my own. Family and friends, we're thrilled that you're here, but you're not just here to listen because, as we've already seen, the questions can have things to do with you. You do have a little bit of control. You see that button in front of you there. Yeah. If at any time you hear a question you don't want to hear the answer, hit the button, we'll take that question out, replace it with a new question. You can only use it once, though, okay? Yes. You want to try it once, Frank? Why not? Two more questions, you get $10,000, Lauren. So far, the questions have been fun, but not too hard. Not too hard. Would you say you're a trustworthy person? I think so. Yeah? Yes. People can count on you? I think so. Question five. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? Well, okay. Are you waiting for them to hit the button? No, 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 not waiting at all. You're okay um, with it. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I've come to terms with the accepting this. So, uh, yes, I have gotten fired from job. That answer is true. Okay. That's five, Lauren. One more truthful question, $10,000. Want to tell me about the time that you got fired? I don't particularly like to talk about it. So, what's in the past is in the past, so I like to. I've moved on to a completely different person now, so. Anyway, you want to be. I hope it's something good you have since your husband is a police officer. So, what do you think about this, Frank? Well, I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So, I am. <laughs> she's in my prison. You are That's quite right. the romantic, Frank. No, no, it's not my kid. Yeah. <laughs> We've only just begun to scratch the surface. That was already a pretty deep question. That was only question five on your way through 21 of these I questions. I know. The reason I bring that up is that you've answered five questions. You haven't won anything. You're one question away from $10,000. Yes. You can stop at any time. What do you want me to ask you? The sixth question. Bring it on, Mark. Lauren Cleary, this is your $10,000 moment of truth. Question six. If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? What show I did that though? Huh? Oh my goodness. Not um, a tricky to answer given what you've just shared, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much, because then it will kind of contradict itself. <laughs> uh, I am going to have to say, no, I would not. Get off the show. Yeah, that the answer is... Something we'll find out right after this break. We'll find out with more. Okay, that's a big goal. That's, a, that's, that's a big goal. It was someone other than his guest. If Continue. I asked you if your answer was... No. no, you would not. Before we find out if that's a lie or if it's the truth, Frank, you believe it. Uh, I do. I, I do not think she would again. Definitely not. Let's find out. That answer is... Off the show. True. Congratulations. You won, yeah. honestly yeah. and legally, $10,000. first level you have ten thousand dollars that is your money to keep Lauren if you walk away right now if you don't walk away it's at risk 
every time I ask a new question. To get to the top of level two, you'll win $25,000. You have to answer. Okay, chat, guys, guys, look. Okay, for those that are late to the stream, okay. Listen, the premise of the show is that she answered a lot of questions, a bunch, I think 50, with a polygraph. So, of course, it's scripted. Even her knows the questions. It's a matter if she's going to tell the truth or not on TV in front of people she loves, hoping that she doesn't get that a bad question before she cashes out. That's kind of like the, the premise of it. Five questions to get there. But you can stop at any time. You want to go on? So yeah, it is scripted. What do you guys think? <laughs> that's the whole point of the show. All the way. The truth comes out anyway, but if you've had enough and you had 100K, you could cash out. So you don't, so you know for that, you, you, you're not gonna get to the, oh, have you ever thought about wiping out your entire family? Like, you know, like, would you consider yourself more of a morning person? <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah this, this is, this is, hypoth yeah, night owl. This is a hypothetical. Uh, definitely a night owl. So you like definitely. to stay up late? Yes, I yep. hate waking up early in the morning. I hate it. Question seven, since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband Frank? That's an insta yes though. What do you think the answer is? That's an insta yes answer. answer. We'll see. So, all right. Well, the question's on you, Lauren. Since you've been married, Wait, have you ever that's pretended so common, to be asleep like in order to avoid yes. having sex with your husband Frank? Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> that Tired. Is what else? True. Easy. Seven truthful answers on your way to the next level, $25,000. Congratulations. You have a lot of friends? Um, used to. Not so much anymore. Question eight. Sure. Do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends? Yes, I do. That, that was quick. Is that, that would be a yeah. True. <laughs> I think in most cases, this would be a yes, though. Because, dude, dude, they're married, like, dude. He sometimes he has to make sacrifice or whatever. That's just kind of, but you don't blame them for it. But they use the word blame, but it's kind of bullshit. Three more, I give you $25,000, but each time you risk your $10,000. Or that, that's got to be tough to move with your husband to a new place and leave all of your friends. It is, it's very difficult. How do you guys deal with that? Take each day as it comes, day. right? Yeah, each day as it comes. I'm getting there. How long you two been married? Two years. You're really starting out. Yeah. Oh. Would you yeah. say your family is very supportive of you? I think so. so. Uh oh. Question oh. nine. Oh, Jesus. Would you ever be a surrogate mother for your sister if she were unable to have children? You do live polygraph tests. Fuck no! Yes? <laughs> um. Guys, 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 that word that was over there, the, the, the surrogate, is, is that like they take the, the, the dude's juice and. They they do like some some science. Yes, I would be. That answer is true. Wow. <laughs> That's your nine. I'm more interested in the, into the method that you know. Truthful answer. You know, this is a tough question because that's, that's sort of like, would you donate an organ or something like that? And, and the answer that we're accustomed to say is the right answer, which is sure, I would do that. But would you truly do that? And she just proved that she truly would do did. that for you. It's really nice. I've never heard of that from her mouth before. <laughs> We've talked about how close you are with your brother and your sister. I know now how committed you are to your sister. If she were to need it. Would you say you're close to mom and dad? Pretty close. Again, not as close as I would like to be, but... You aware of that? Um, I love her unconditionally. Question 10. Do you think your parents are proud of you? <laughs> this is one of those questions that looks easy. No. Yeah. You and I both know how hard that can be. 
Yeah. Um. The truth, Lauren. Oh. Uh, yeah, this, this is a tough one. <laughs> no. Oh. Don't answer yet. We'll be right back. Right after that. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck? The content lately. Will you ever be playing Fuck Overwatch you, dude! Again? Who is this guy? This Jesus. special edition of the Moment of Truth continues. Welcome back to the Moment of Truth. Before the break, I asked you this question. Do you think your parents are proud of you? Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? Wait. Oh, wait. I didn't even know that. I thought the child would be half her, half her sister's husband, but it's actually 100% in chat said they insert the juice via sister and sister's husband. Line. Yeah? Or not? Oh, pff, I, don't, I don't fucking know, dude. Oh, it's their juice in somebody else, but genetically, since she since she's brewing it, does she put her DNA in it a little bit or not? We've had this discussion. Eh. Do you eh. So she's just a printer. Literally. She just, she just prints. You think. Impressive. Your parents are proud of you. Yes or no? No, I don't think my parents are proud of me. That answer is... True. I mean, Chad, guys, let's be honest, guys, 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 she's on that show. I think just the business of her being on that show, like, guys, come on. Guys, come on. Guys, come on. Guys. Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? She doesn't have anything to make me proud of her. I love her unconditionally. Okay, here's where we are. You've answered 10 questions truthfully. If you can answer question 11 truthfully, you've won $25,000 and the right to keep going all the way up to half a million dollars. <laughs> Given how emotional you feel right now and how difficult this is already, there's no shame in walking out of here Delivering with $10,000, even with only one question left. To be so, My aunt did it for some rich couple and they paid her 300 k to deliver their baby. Lauren, this really is a moment of truth. I've never thought about this concept, so I can't really talk about it. Lauren, you're doing great. I want the question. Go. Lauren, this is your $25,000 moment of truth. Question 11. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, it can be anything, though. That answer is... True. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Lauren. You just won $25,000. Guys, you can. Guys, it can be anything. Like, like, oh. Dad, like, let me smoke weed behind the shed. He, he, like, it, it doesn't matter. $25,000 is yours. Yeah. We will talk about what you do next in our game, but I'm interested to know why you ran out of your seat and hugged her. Is it that she won the money or that she's keeping the secret? <laughs> Daddy likes to kiss the dog with his tongue. Who the fuck said mods? Jesus, mods time, dude, mods time them out one time. I don't know why I read that. I'm already in trouble. What the fuck was that? I saw that in the chat. I saw that. I didn't think he was gonna come out I, here. I, I, I saw it. <laughs> well, I get the feeling that this is something you guys are gonna discuss Jesus without us. Christ. I think she wants to know. <laughs> yeah, <I think> so. <laughs> Anything you want to say, Mom? We'll talk later. <laughs> you have twenty-five thousand dollars. That much we know is true. These questions that have hit so close to home that they've had you teary, 
are not even close to as personal as they're gonna get. I know. They're real, they're real. The next level is four questions. If you can be truthful through those four questions, you will win $100,000. So four, three, two, one. But if you lie, you lose the $25,000 you've already earned. So my question is, what are you gonna do? Do you wanna continue or are we gonna stop here? Guys. I told you I wasn't lying. Jesus. We will find out right after this. Stay with us, we'll be back with more of the Moment of Truth right after this. Coming up. Lauren Cleary pushes the truth too far. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? I spoiled it. I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. For those of you just joining us, we're about to continue with Lauren Cleary in her attempt to win $500,000. As I said before, this is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television. Quite honestly, if I had had my vote, it would not have aired. But since the decision was made to broadcast it, I want to warn you, what you're about to see is very difficult to watch. Shut up. They only add that to add more drama, but they, they, that's just not true. Welcome back to the Moment of Truth. I'm here with Lauren Cleary, her husband Frank of two years, mom and dad, brother and sister, everybody is here. Relatively intact at this point. <laughs> oh, he knows. Fair to say? Yeah. You have $25,000, Lauren. Before the break, Lauren, I asked you, is that enough money, $25,000, or do you want to risk it to go on? And I promised you that these questions would get more personal. They were already very personal, far more personal than half the people watching the show would even endure. And I'm looking at this next tier, not later on, right now. It's going to get deep. You want to continue? Well, to be honest, I am really not concerned about the money. I just I feel a lot better getting this, everything I need to get off my chest, so. Okay. La, 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 la. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. That's a chaperone. Okay. How's the communication between you and your husband, Frank? Uh, we're working on it. On it. Yeah, Frank? Yeah. yeah. Question 12. Do you secretly stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not know about? Fuck oh, no, dude. Uh, okay. What do you think, Frank? I think I want to hear her answer. Well, I definitely need to be a no instantly, dude. Hey, uh, hey, my ex is in. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Uh, the answer is no. That answer is. True. That one scared me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> scared you, Frank? <laughs> a little bit. I got, I got confidence in her, though. You so have confidence. I trust her. Yeah. You have $25,000. You're three questions away from $100,000, and you said the money is really not the object. Think about the people, not just you, but think about the people who will hear your truth tonight. What do you want to do? Do you want question 13? <laughs> I hope so for you. <laughs> Lauren, I know that you've moved recently and you don't have as many friends as you used to have, but do you occasionally like the girls' night out? Yeah. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. it's important to have those nights, it right? It is. Question 13. 
Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? This crowd, dude. Yes. That's a good one. That. Yeah. <laughs> right in the ticker. Right there. I tried to warn you. No, it's okay. Um, yes, I have. Oh! oh who cares? Oh boy. Even if it's just a, oh, what would happen if? Like, uh, I wonder what, how much more attention I get if I don't have. Who cares? True. It's in place now. So it's 13 truthful answers. So I congratulate you on you being truthful. Two more to $100,000, but that is a truthful answer that um, I can't even spin to be a good answer. Frank, how do you feel about that? Maybe I'm sure she has her reasons. I'll we'll find out later. I don't know if I have the stomach for the rest of these questions. <laughs> You're making it worse on us? <laughs> I'm being as honest as I know how to be. I look at the question, I don't know you guys before we meet here, and this is a doozy. Stop me before I ask the question if you don't want to answer it. No, Hit the button if you don't want to hear the answer. So uh, I'll just ask you this before we get into the question. Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? Oh my God, please. <laughs> just watch the question again throughout this one. Right? And we had a good time. We enjoyed ourselves. Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? So, uh, take your time. Enjoy it. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Oh, man. XQC best in the game. Best in the game. XQC best in the game. Be yes, I believe I was. is true. So that's 14 truthful answers. One more, you win $100,000, but I'm sure I'm not the only one watching this program wondering if that $100,000 is worth it given what we're doing. But it's your world, your relationship, your choices. Frank, were you aware that she had those feelings on your wedding day? Uh, no. I knew that she did have feelings for, you know, ex boyfriends and everybody does. I didn't know that she might have been in love with them. Lauren, one Jesus. more question to get you $100,000, unless you tell me to stop. I can't talk you into stopping, Janet. <laughs> No, I'm ready for number 15. Yeah, of course you are. All right. I um, I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want oh, it, I'm no. going to give it to you. <laughs> the question. Okay. Incident. Making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest. Oh my. Lauren, can you tell everybody who this is? Or do I need to do it? I, I can't speak right now, so. This is your ex boyfriend, Frank. This is your Frank has a question for you. 
<laughs> Double Frank. And I hope this hundred thousand dollars, if you win it, is worth this question. If you don't want the answer, you still have the button. I don't need to remind you. This question is for one hundred thousand dollars. When you're ready, question fifteen. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? <laughs> Are ready for number fifty thousand dollars? It's by a surprise guest. No. I do Dollars if you win it is worth. This question is for. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? Number fifteen. Hold on. That question is a devastating question. Of course. You could course. avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. Yeah. No? As it turns out. This might be the biggest content cut of the actual century. Hold on a sec. Audience, I know that this is entertaining to watch, but this is real. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? Happy to I don't want to tennis. hear that answer. Yeah. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. <laughs> I have a question to replace that with. Yes, Before yes. I do that... Imagine people are there for more than just pure entertainment. Imagine people are there to feel something. Nobody gives a shit. My question to you, Lauren, is did she just save you or cost you $100,000? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> One of the things that you know if you watch the program is that I will replace the question, but I can't guarantee that that question's gonna be any easier. Here's another question that your ex-boyfriend, Frank, will ask. What? I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. If you are truthful, it'll be worth $100,000. And I hope, Warren, that that is a, a gamble that's worth it for you. So, ex-boyfriend Frank, once again, question 15. <clears throat> Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? Well, uh, 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 this show is uh, a good way into mourning for these cuts. Um, um, I'm gonna be honest, and say yes. That answer is... True. Sure what to say. You've answered. Just imagine, imagine if it said false. <laughs> 15 questions, truthfully. You've won a hundred thousand uh, dollars. First of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear, so might as well just go for it. Have you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean, I didn't know he was still an issue. Oh. I mean, with an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're, you're not happy. Are oh. you unhappy? Sometimes. Sometimes. So the bill's Warren, ringing. What do we do here? This is, uh... Warren, what else is there? You know what I mean? Let's go for it. This is a little bigger than the game right now. So you have $100,000, okay? 
you leave here with $100,000 right now and you go home with your husband, Frank, and you have to now they're figure billions, out where you two are. In the other room. It's, it'll be over in a minute. I would tell her to go. What else is there to tell me? What, what else is there to really tell me? What? Yeah. I always said yes. I mean, at, at the point, he's probably saying yes, so she trips and she fails that question. <laughs> Those are zero. We nope. certainly aren't going to keep you here. If you've had enough, you can take the hundred thousand dollars and leave. And, but questions? Frank makes a very good point. After this bomb that's been dropped, what else is there? You know, I don't. You know the questions. What else is there? So what do you want to do? You want to leave with hundred thousand dollars, or three more questions get you two hundred thousand dollars? Three more questions. Three more. You got this point, the hard questions, you can go now. All the rest you only need be three easy. questions to win $200,000, but as you know, you only have to mess up once to lose everything. Mom, what do you say for her to do? I say, Mom take it, leave it now. Mom would say that. Hmm? I, I'm going to keep on going because... I will let you know that the questions I've already asked you, a couple of them, are way over my line. This one's further than that. You probably know what's coming next. I think so. And you want it anyway. Question 16. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? I wish the button was still there. Yeah, telling me. Wait, why is, why, why did he, why did he say that? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Why did the host say that? That's weird. I'm gonna have to say yes. That answer is true. Okay, Lauren. Two more gets you $200,000, but be careful. One mistake, you lose it all. Are you feeling like you should go for it now? Yeah. Okay. Question 17. Do you think you're a good person? Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. That answer is... It's true. I hear drilling what is has in building more rooms in his mansion that he probably won't share with anyone else. Absolutely wozers. False. <laughs> Lauren, I am so, so sorry. Why do you think this came up as a lie for you when I asked you if you think you're a good person? Because even after everything I have done, stealing the money and everything, I think that I've become a better person. That's why I think I am a good person. Yet it came up as a lie, which means that somewhere in you, Wait. You haven't forgiven yourself. Wait, everything that is like true and false, she, she wins. And then the only ego question, she loses. Somewhere, your truth is that you don't think you're a good person at all. Why don't you go out and hang out with your family and I thank you very much, Norm, for being on the show. I wish you the best. Six months hope I honestly believe that some truths are better left unsaid. Later and Hopefully Lauren and her family can make peace with what happened here tonight. I, I wish them all the very best. See you next time.
on the moment of truth. I don't, I don't think there's gonna be a next time, brother man. Jesus Christ. Um, interesting.